Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to the channel. And today we are going to be checking out the Elegoo Mars 3 SLA printer. So let's get started. Now I do want to thank Elegoo for sending this over to me for review and everything we talk about will be linked down in the description below. This is the Elegoo Mars 3, the third installation of their Elegoo Mars lineup. So I have the first one, I skipped the second version and this is version 3. And there are so many things that change from this version compared to the first version that I have. Now if you haven't seen any of my previous video on the Elegoo Mars 1 as well as the Elegoo Mercury Plus Curring Station, uh, please do so. I'll leave a link down in the description below as well as a link on the top left. Now if you want an extremely high detail print for something like this, which is like a jet engine that I printed out for a model, uh, this is the way to go because FDM printers will not be able to achieve this level of detail. There are a couple of downsides to resin printers and one it's print time and two is the curing process. Now the print times on the first one is extremely slow. So just to give you a little insight on this, on an FDM printer, we usually print 0.1 millimeters or 0.2 millimeters, and that's if it's draft. But on a SLA printer, you're actually able to print at 0.05 millimeters, which is way thinner than what you would get on an FDM. How it works is that the plate would go down, a UV light would shine the light to the model of what you're trying to print, It'll stay there for a couple of seconds until it hardens, lift up the build plate for the next layer and next layer and next layer and so forth and so forth. Now each layer on the first version of the Elegoo Mars or generally most SLA printers take about anywhere between 8 to 15 seconds depending on the resin you're using. And that could be many different factors on why it would take so long. But generally speaking, when you are trying to print something even as of this height, which is about 30 millimeters. This took me about three to four hours just to print vertically and that's not even that much. Something like this on an FDM printer would probably take only an hour or two while this one would take double that time or even more sometimes. Now the new Elegoo Mars 3 has a new 4k mono LCD screen that's actually able to cure the resin anywhere between 1.5 seconds to 3 seconds which makes a huge difference on print times. So something like this that was printed on the first version on a general SLA printer usually takes around, like I said, three to four hours. This whole thing, which is a queen's chess piece, almost triple the height of the other part that we we're just talking about. The queen piece is about 80 millimeters and it only took me about three and a half hours using the new printer, which is amazing. The only couple of downsides that I don't generally use as a printer all the time, it's because of the print time. And now because of this new printer, it basically eliminated that. Also on the new Alagu Mars 3, you have a larger build plate. So now I could fit even more stuff on one print. Now the size on the Alagu Mars 3 is 143 by 89.6 by 175 height. Again, it's not as big as any FDM printers that you could get, which is like 200 millimeters by 200 by 200. But again, you're not gonna be able to get this level of detail. Now, because this is also rocking a 4K screen, it's even able to print higher quality than it was previously. Now, the build plate is something different as well. The build plate that they have now is now sandblasted. So it actually gives you better adhesion. And honestly, because I think it's sandblasted in some cases, I was able to remove the print a lot easier than what I would use before. I was able to scrape it off very easily. Along with this, they actually came out with the new curing station called the Mercury X, and it's made for the Mars 3. It does support the bigger platform. I do have one on hand, but I wasn't able to test it yet because some way or the other, according to the shipping, the, the bucket that's supposed to hold all the fluid in there, which is the IPA, uh, pressurize itself so it's now warped. I am actually not able to fit the tray in there or anything that I need to so I'm gonna have to find some time to figure that out before I'm able to run those tests but since I do still have the original Mercury Plus I was able to use that to cure this as well. I just couldn't use the platform together. So all in all what I'm trying to say is it's gotten to the point where it actually makes sense if I needed to print in resin because back then if I was to print something like this on the old Mercury I would have doubts because this would take at least 10 hours, maybe 12 hours to print. Compared to the new one, now it's three hours. It's very close to what you would get on an FDM printer, but in higher quality. If you have the full bundle, which is the Mercury, the Mars and the Mercury together, you'll be able to produce really high quality resin 3D prints. And all that, this machine only cost $300, which also surprised me because that is a really good budget 
for a pretty fast resin printer. Now looking at the level of detail on this chest piece that I got, I did use fully translucent resin and I made the mistake of laying it flat so kind of the bottom didn't turn out perfect but that was my fault. And you can also notice that there's a yellow haze on here. That's anytime you print with any type of translucent resin, it will cause that if you are doing 100% infill. So there is a way to kind of get rid of it, but I've never tested it out yet, but it does have a little bit of a yellowish tint. Otherwise, it looks really, really nice, especially the points of the queen. They are actually really sharp and that's due to the 4K screen, I believe. Also at the end of this, when you do purchase this machine, you do get to use their Chuty Chu, I, I don't, the Slicer software, which is the pro version, I'll leave the name here because I really can't pronounce it, but that software, you will actually get one year's free of pro service. Now you don't have to use the pro to be able to print from this guy, but the pro gives you more options on what you can tune and how to play around with the printer itself. But yeah, you get one year's free, which is also a $169 deal, which I don't, I don't really, I, I don't know how to say it. Like it works. I used the basic before because my pro version ran out. And then now that I got this again, I got the pro again. Uh, I didn't find really too much of a need to really fine tune the printer. And I'm saying this from experience because I've owned their previous printer. This makes sense now because it's such a fast print time and you could go all the way down to 1.5. I haven't printed anything on 1.5, but I printed, this was printed on a layer height of uh, two seconds. So it now makes sense to kind of go for a SLA printer to get the high level detail. So if you need to do like characters from anime or whatever it is that requires high level of detail, you can now achieve that with this. Now I still do prototyping with my FDM. So my FDM printer get used a lot because it's just much faster on printing bigger surfaces and taller surfaces no matter how you look at it but the detail will not get as high as this. Also, if you need something to be bigger than the offered size on the bed on this guy, yeah, you will still need to go to FDM, but I'm really, really happy with this SLA printer. And I think I'm gonna start printing a lot more stuff with this because I don't have to think on how long it takes to print because I'm not worried about that. It actually doesn't take too long. I know I'm repeating myself because that is one of the biggest highlights I've ever seen, an SLA printer print that fast. So I'm gonna leave it off on that. If you guys have any questions on this, hit me down in the comments below. If you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing. Also hit that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is gonna be out. And as I say, my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.